Hello friends and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. Happy Friday! How was your week? That's great to hear. Are you ready to sing our good morning song together? Let's take our arms out like airplane wings and let's fly those airplanes to one side, fly them to the other side. Now make those arms into a T in the middle like this and stretch those arms into a big circle out in front. Now, let's give a stretch up, up, up over our heads and give a stretch from one side, stretch over to the other side, one last stretch up at the top and bring that circle back down in front of you. Now it's time to sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. It goes like this. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you are having a wonderful day so far. Let's get started with circle time. The first thing that we do is begin with the date. And yesterday, we started a brand new month. The month is right up here. Do you remember what the month is? April, that's right. The month is April and today is April 2nd. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was April 1st and today is April Second, and right up here we have the year. The year is 2021, but you can also say that the year is 2021. Both ways are correct. Okay, friends, let me see those counting fingers like this. Let's give them a little stretch to warm them up because we are going to count the days that we've had in the month of April. So let's start at the number one. Two, we have only had two days in the month of April. Now, instead of showing me one finger or two fingers, I need to see seven fingers like this because we are going to sing the days of the week song. And because we have seven days in our week, we should hold up seven fingers like this. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's travel down, down, down to the bottom of the chart. Do you remember what the day was yesterday? Here's your clue. Yesterday was th Thursday. Yesterday was Thursday. So that means that today is Friday. Today is Friday, the last day of the weekday. And today is, if today is Friday, that means that tomorrow will be, here's your clue, S Saturday. Tomorrow will be Saturday, the first day of the weekend. But let's go back to today and let's sing today is Friday together. It goes like this. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Today is Friday, today is Friday, today is Friday, all day long. Let's travel back up to the top of the chart. Right up here we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring! That's right, friends. It's springtime. It doesn't seem like spring again at my house. The weather is still a little bit cold, but we'll talk more about the weather after we sing the weather song together. It goes like this. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Friends, do you see my picture right down here? It's a picture of a cloud and the sun. When I look outside of my window, 
It's mostly cloudy, but I see a few wispy thin clouds called cirrus clouds in the sky. My temperature ch start chart is still on dark blue because it's another cold day where I live. It definitely doesn't feel like spring at my house. Friends, what's the weather like where you live? Does it feel like spring? Look outside of your window and let me know what you see. Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now, let's move on to the letter of the week. Because today is Friday, it will be the last day talking about this letter. Will you tell me the sound that this letter makes? Let's make that sound together. Duh. Duh. And do you know what letter this is? D. That's right. This is a lowercase d. And D says duh, duh. Are you ready to guess what's inside of the letter box today? Inside of this box, I have something that starts with the letter D, D. Here's your first clue. This is something that is used to an entrance of a building or a room or a vehicle. This opens and closes and when you want to come inside, you knock on it. Do you know what it is? Let's take a look. A door. Door starts with the letter D, D. A door can open and close. This looks like it would be the door to a house. So when you would want to come inside, you would go knock, knock, knock. Can I see how you would knock on a door? Knock, knock, knock. And then the person inside would open it up like this. Door starts with the letter D, D. This is how you write a lowercase D, D. One more time. And today will also be the last day talking about this number. Do you know what number this is? 17. And when you write the number 17, you have to write two numbers because 17 is a double digit number. First you write the number one, and then you write the number seven, 17. Now it's time to count 17 tally marks together. And as I draw them on the bottom of the chalkboard, you can count with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five goes across, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 goes across, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 goes across, 16, and one more makes 17. 17 tally marks. Now let's take a look inside of the number box and see what we have to count today. I have a bunch of acorn tops. And as I count them, I'll line them up on the top of the box so you can count with me. One, these two are connected. Two, three, four, five. These two are also connected. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and one more makes 17. 17 acorn tops. Okay friends, we've gone over the letter of the week and the number of the week. So that means that it's time to go over the sign of the week. And because today is Friday, it will be the last day saying rain in sign language. Can you show me how to say rain in sign language? That's right. Rain. And how would you say a heavy rain in sign language? 
That's right, friends. A heavy rain. Rain. Let's wrap up our discussion on springtime weather. Now it may seem that it only rains in the springtime, but what happens when the sun comes out when there are still drops of water in the air? When that happens, you may see a rainbow. A rainbow forms when light enters water drops that are still in the air. I have a song to share with you about the colors of the rainbow and it goes like this. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink makes the rainbow bright. For today's work, I thought that we'd work with colors to create our own rainbows. Let's go check it out. For today's work, you will need a few pieces of paper towel, some markers, and a spray bottle full of water. So instead of coloring on paper, you're going to take your markers and draw lines on your paper towel. Make sure that you use lots of different colors. You want to make sure that the colors that you pick are bright. You can draw patterns. You can draw zigzags. It's completely up to you. And once you finish decorating your paper towel, you're going to spray your paper towel with your spray bottle. Wow, friends. Do you see how the colors from the marker are mixing together? Just like the colors on a rainbow. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Will you sing the rainbow song with me one more time? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink makes a rainbow bright. Thanks for learning with me today. Join me next week as we move our focus from springtime weather to springtime baby animals. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a big thumbs up and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Before we go, we have one last song to sing. Can everybody wave goodbye like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. If you celebrate the upcoming holiday, happy Easter. Have a great weekend, everyone, and I'll see you on Monday.